details this morning about the school shooting in Colorado on Friday. An eerie flashback to Columbine taking place one day before the anniversary of Sandy Hook. We have a picture of the young shooter now, a senior. We now know more about his arsenal, his intended target, and the heroism displayed inside of that school in the midst of this crisis. ABC's Clayton Sandell is in Centennial, Colorado. Clayton, good morning. Hey, good morning, Dan. This morning, this entire school behind me is a crime scene. Investigators working all night to figure out what happened here when a gunman, a student gunman, walked through the doors, making no effort to hide his shotgun. The terror began at 12.33 p.m. Shotgun show on the ground, so I'm assuming they have a shotgun. When police say 18-year-old Carl Pearson, a senior, walked into his school for the last time. Investigators say Pearson had one target, Tracy Murphy, the school librarian. The kid went after him specifically. He wanted to kill him. Murphy runs the school debate team. ABC affiliate KMGH-TV reports Pearson was recently kicked off the team. This shooting was the result of revenge on the part of the shooter because of a confrontation or a disagreement. In the chaos, a 15-year-old girl was shot in the head. I have a student down in the athletic hall. She's bleeding bad. She is now in critical condition, but what Murphy did next may have saved many more lives, knowing he was the target. I believe it was a very wise tactical decision for him to remove himself from the school. About five minutes after it all began, as officers closed in, police say Pearson shot himself. The suspect has been found inside the school and he has deceased. Overnight, Murphy, the librarian, left his home, declining to talk. You doing okay? Thank you. At the same time, bomb squads and investigators began searching the home where police say Pearson lived with his mother. This is just the latest high-profile shooting for Colorado, just 15 miles from last year's movie theater massacre in Aurora and only eight miles from Columbine High School. The headline in this morning's Denver Post, again. Did you ever think something like this would happen at your kid's school? To be honest, there is hardly a day that goes by when they leave that I don't have kind of a fleeting thought about that. Now, police believe at this point that uh, Pearson, who was armed with that shotgun, as well as a couple of Molotov cocktails, was acting alone. And of course, today is the first anniversary of the school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. But at this point, they do not believe they're connected, just a coincidence.